Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem to find a length in an isosceles triangle. Now remember Pythagoras theorem involves right angle triangles, but these triangles here, they don't have a right angle, do they? But if we were to split an isosceles triangle in two, down its line of symmetry, can you see that we now have a right angle triangle? So we want to find the height of this particular triangle, this length here, well, do we have two of the lengths of this particular triangle? Let's just say we use this half of it. Well, we've got the hypotenuse, it's 13. We actually have this bottom length, because look, if this 10 centimetres is split exactly in half, that's going to be five centimetres there. And then we have everything we need to find this height. So let's draw that triangle separately. We've got the height here, let's call it H. We've got that five centimetres at the bottom, and we've got this 13 centimetres here. So let's use Pythagoras theorem. We saw in a previous video that Pythagoras theorem is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse, the longest length of the triangle. It doesn't matter which way a and b go around. So let's just call this shorter length a, this shorter length b, and then the longest length has got to be the c. As I said before, it doesn't matter which way a and b go around. But let's substitute these into the formula. We've got a squared, 5 squared, plus b squared, which is h squared, is equal to 13 squared. Then let's just work out what 5 squared and 13 squared are. That's 25 plus h squared equals 169. Now, h is being squared, then we're adding 25 to it to get 169. So we should subtract 25 from both sides to get rid of the plus 25. The minus 25 gets rid of that plus 25, leaving just h squared. And then 169 minus 25 is 144. Now h is being squared, so to get 144, we want to undo the squared, so we square root each side of the equation. And that gives us h is equal to 12, and it's going to be in centimetres, isn't it? Because the other unit's in centimetres. And that's the final answer. We've worked out the height of that isosceles triangle. What about this second one? Now, we're told the height is 11, so I can put this 11 in. And we've got the bottom length is 7. If we split that in half again, that's going to be 3.5 centimetres here. And we want to find the hypotenuse x. So if I draw that triangle out separately again, we've got the 3.5 at the bottom. We've got the 11 going up, the height. And we want to find that slant height. So using Pythagoras theorem again, we do one the shorter side squared, so the 3.5 squared plus the other shorter length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Then if we just shove the left hand side into our calculator, 3.5 squared plus 11 squared, which is equal to 133.25. And then to get rid of that squared on the x, we just square root that, so square root of 133.25, and we get... 11.54 uh, in centimetres, and that was two, two decimal places. I could have also given it to three figures. That is the final answer.